maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it's like an honest process. I'm trying almost the first time this 3D and the new UI workflow. So it's also good feedback for this. In this video, I'm gonna put my 3D model, which is done in Blender, which is my favorite 3D software, into the AI, which is Viscom, which is my favorite AI platform. Also, thanks for sponsoring this video. You can download these 3D models and more from my pre-order special Blender Advanced Car Design course, link in description. Before putting my 3D model into Viscom, I wanna make it a little bit more clear, let's say, because these wheels are huge and I don't wanna upload a big file. Rather than that, I'm gonna simplify them. So first of all, let's delete everything else and I'm gonna add a cylinder on the scene. All right, I think it will be simpler to upload now. I'm gonna pick everything in Blender. I'm gonna go to File, Export, and FBX. Then, of course, I go to Viscom, Get Started, New File, and I'm gonna pick the landscape. So we have an empty canvas on Viscom, and there are a couple of updates, actually, I want to mention. First of all, the interface changed a little bit. This is cool. Second thing is they increased the quality of the output renders, and I can see the difference, and I can tell you, you will enjoy it. And the third thing is now you can upload 3D models. So to do that, I'm gonna go to this layers and here you can see import image and import 3D layer. By default, there's a car inside so you can rotate and you can see what it is. It feels a little bit like station vibe on to me or there are other models like a shoe, headphones and so on. Instead of using the defaults, I'm gonna upload model and here we go. So here is the model from Blender and it looks not bad. I like the proportions of this so it's like a good start. I see that I didn't even subdivide the wheels, but it's fine. So you can decide your angle. For example, I will decide an angle like this. And then add to canvas here on the right button. Now let's say the screenshot of this 3D model is on our layers. I'm gonna go to create tab and write a prompt maybe already. Sporty futuristic SUV concept design. And we are on the render mode. Another update here, I see that render style. Now you have Viscom General, Automotive Interiors, Volume Render and Pastel Render. I will keep the Viscom General. We can go deeper to this topic in another video maybe. I'm gonna pick number of images as four and hit generate. Okay, honestly, it took a little bit of time. I don't know if it's about internet connection or if it's about how Viscom works, but don't worry if it takes a couple of minutes. It's totally normal as I see. But this is the first result, second result, third result and fourth result. So. The first honest feelings, like let's first decide which one is the favorite. I, like I still love this, to me it's still like a magic, like all these backgrounds and the shiny things of the car. I love this result, but I want to compare it with the original file and I want to see if it kind of represents what I thought about it at first. Like, you know, I was thinking a little bit more conceptual maybe, so we can modify and change this design in AI still. So I think this one is my favorite, so I'm going to confirm this one. And let's go to layers again and I can just turn off and turn on to see like what happens here is first of all on my 3D I feel a little bit more softer surface treatment and on this one it got a little bit more blocky I can say. So maybe I want to go back to a little bit more softer surfaces. And the second thing is I normally have like an air outlet here but from this angle maybe it's not visible so on the results I don't see it like an air outlet. It seems more like a connect surface. So I think now I have like three options. The first one is go back and change the prompt. We can easily do that. Second option is I can edit this image here in Viscom. I can just basically paint here black and I can say there's an air outlet and so on. And the third option is I can just export it and go to Photoshop and do it manually everything. So let's try all of them, why not? So I will turn off this layer, I will go back to create and I will change the prompt to smooth surfaces, sporty SUV design. Let's see what will happen. Okay, again, I'm waiting a little bit. I think it will be ready soon. Okay, I've been waiting around a minute so far and while waiting more, I can talk about my Blender Advanced course. It is the pre-order stage right now, so if you get it now, you have like a big discount and I'm gonna release the course in a couple of weeks, hopefully. But if you get it early, you will get some benefits. All right, the render is ready, let's see. Okay, still not commis, the black is interesting. I mean, it's not that I don't like the results there. Oh, this one, for example, looks very clean and nice. I'm just thinking, you know, I mentioned it also before that it's not exactly you have something in your mind and you wanna visualize it. When you use Viscom, it's more like creative workflow rather than just rendering what I have in my mind. So as you see, it adds from itself also some different combinations. So sometimes it can generate a lot of value. 
it can help to your creativity but sometimes if you have at the beginning some expectations it's not totally for this purpose so i'm going to pick this one or at least you need to work on it more so i'm going to confirm this one and now i'm going to try the second thing we talked i will go to layers let's see the difference between previous one yeah at least i can see now we have more smooth and clean surfaces on the previous one it was a little bit too sharp for me for what i had in my mind so this one is better now let's go back to create and now I'm going to change from render mode to refine mode. With my brush selected I'm going to basically try to paint here a little bit. And maybe on this area I can change the window line maybe connect it to the back with the C pillar. So without further changes let's hit generate already. This workflow is helpful like if you build the very main body volume in Blender already or any other 3D software. You can already like rather than render and change it on Photoshop, you can edit here to see the alternatives and then go back to model and refine your design further. So this is the first result, second, third and the fourth result. I'm not convinced, it doesn't feel like a air outlet yet to me, it's not exactly what I want. So I'm not gonna confirm any of these and I'm just gonna paint it further, maybe like I need to make it a bit bigger. Actually I saw one Viscom's new video, Jordan was doing something like only painting the area. I guess it was this tool, the yeah, in painting, so I can maybe select this area. This was also pretty cool, I hope I can manage. And you write a prompt exactly for this area, let's say air outlets on the surface. I'm curious if it works well. It's the first time I'm trying as you can imagine, so I'm curious about the results. If it makes I think it's easier than all the time generating the whole car again and again. You can pick the place you want to change, you can draw it, you can write a specific prompt. And let's see if it will work. Okay, it's not what I was hoping for. So this one worked, but uh, the rest of the image, what happened to the rest of the image? Maybe let's confirm and go back to normal painting and maybe generate one more time, like refine. And let's not even write a prompt just to... No, it's not possible. You need to write a prompt. So I will just... Drawing influence increased. And the prompt, again, touristic, sporty SUV. Honestly, I think I kind of lost the quality from the first one. Like, if I go back to... Like, first we need to confirm maybe one of them. If I go back to layers, for example, this one was higher quality image. Like, the surfaces and everything looked better. On the last one, I kind of lost it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it's like an honest process. I'm trying almost the first time this 3D and the new UI workflow. So it's also good feedback for Viscom. If you experience something similar, please write down on the comments so I can forward it to Viscom team to make it smoother process maybe for the UX UI. Okay, I went back to render and I just generated the image with the 100% drawing influence. So it didn't change much the drawing, but it rendered again. Maybe the render is better for this higher quality outlets. And honestly, I quite like it now. Look, I have my air outlet. It's pretty cool. The car is there. A little bit maybe sharper. Oh, it's just more reflections, let's say. I see here and there some, again, a bit more sharper design language. But let's pick one favorite. Let's say... I think I will go with this one. Let's confirm it. And I want to generate one more time because it's just so much fun. You just click on the button and you get alternatives for the results. So I will go back to create again. Rather than futuristic sport SUV, I remember we wrote something like smooth, curvy surfaces, futuristic SUV. With 100% drawing influence, let's see what will be the result. While waiting, I have to mention that right now there's a challenge on the Viscom. Viscom 3D challenge. I'm going to leave a link in the below in the description and it's not just a challenge that you get nothing at the end the winner will get a Wacom drawing tablet so go check it out if you need a tablet or if you even don't need a tablet why not it's never it never hurts to have additional Wacom tablet right so check out the descriptions and participate in this challenge if you're interested in and I'm still waiting for this render here we go I like it the white is cool reminds me a little bit Tesla on the first side, I don't know why, maybe the red calipers and the white body, like Model X. But not the design wise, I think this looks cooler. So yeah, I like it, let's confirm it and let's see what happened, let's see what we did. From the first layer, like I'm gonna hide all the other layers in between. Here we go, I will turn off this one, and turn it on. So as you see, like, yeah, there are subtle changes on some places, but it keeps the main lines. Like, on my 3D model, I have this air outlet, we just edit, I have this shoulder line, and on the rear shoulder and the front muscle lines 
and like a nice smooth silhouette of the car. And the proportions are what I decided. It's not like a randomly just you write the prompt and get a result. It's like based on my own design, my own model. And here we can see like one thing on my design in my mind again was planning. I was planning that this line is continuous to the front. Like when you look at from the side view. So if I have a headlight here, maybe it can continue with like a chrome piece on the side or some design elements. And on the final, after AI, after Viscom, I see that this line kind of continues, but it's not as strong as I wish. But again, I don't use this as final renders of my, my project or anything, you know. This is for my design process to see some alternatives. Like this front looks kind of interesting to me. Like I can get inspired by something here or... Maybe I will make it less, like a bit more subtle on this air outlet or this kind of things. Like a quick alternative generation. It's pretty cool. I like it. I have fun. I think I don't want to make this video super long because I think I will have more fun soon. I'm going to upload other models and stuff. And again, I'm working on this course, guys. So I have a lot to do with 3D and I suggest you the same. If you are not confident with Blender, you can also check out my beginner's Blender course. And don't forget to check the challenge from Viscom and see you in the next video.